Do you like my dress? It's colourful and it's tropical and it's a bit like the place we're visiting today and we're taking you with us. We're at the Mullaney Botanical Gardens and Bird World here on the Sunshine Coast. And we live quite close to here, but we've never been here before. So we're very excited and we want to take you along with us. But before we get going, check out the gardens. They are, they are unbelievably beautiful. Okay, so the park opens at 9 a.m. and we're booked in for the first Avery tour. It's a walk through Avery tour and that's at 10.30. But to start our morning, we thought we'd go on a walk. They have six kilometers of garden paths here to walk around, so let's go. Beautiful, aren't they? Look at them, there's hundreds and hundreds of them just on these ones alone. Mm. So, they have a cafe and you can sit at the top and have Devonshire tea or lunch or just a coffee. And you can also purchase little picnic campers and they work out to about $20 a person, which is really reasonable. And this is one of their picnic areas. Isn't this a beautiful place to have a picnic? want a donkey. Yeah. They only get that big. They don't get any bigger. Do you know these gardens have an interesting beginning? Did yeah. you read about that? A little bit. Yeah, so it was started by a man who came from Durban in South Africa in 2005. He bought 110 acres here on the ridge in Mullaney, ah. or just outside of Mullaney. Yeah, right. And it's very challenging terrain because mm. it's very steep mm. and goes up and down. And he had a dream to turn this into beautiful gardens, this 110 acres, for families to enjoy and be close to nature. And I think he's succeeded in oh, that, yeah. hasn't he? It's glorious, yeah. Yeah, so it took him seven years to do that. And then the following year, he opened up his aviaries. There's four aviary enclosures, which we're going to go to now and have a look. And they take you on guided tours through there. So that'll be really good. Yep. Yeah. yeah, but it's so beautiful. It just goes to show what one, one person's dream can yeah, do. Yeah, I know. Well, once he saw the views from here, <laughs> yeah. he would have said, well, this is the place. The yeah. views are awesome. You yeah. know those views of the Glasshouse Mountains? We yeah. never get sick of seeing those no, views, don't we? And no. we see them whenever we get in our car. Yeah, I haven't much. seen it from this angle, so they look yeah, great. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> okay, what happened? I took one for the team. What happened? One of the birds didn't like me. <laughs> Landed on my shoulders, only a little fella. Yep. Thought he'd no, take he, a bit of it. He took a bit of a chunk. Mm. Oh well. You're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. So we're on our way home from Mullaney and we saw that there's a prize home that's being raffled for a charity and we thought we'd pop in and show you what it looked like because it's on just over an acre. It's in a really lovely, very green, lush part of Mullaney and it's worth 2.8 million Australian dollars and that includes everything, all the furniture 
and the props that includes everything. So we thought you might enjoy to have a little look around with us. It's beautiful, isn't it? I want to show you something that Paul made with some of the produce from our garden. He's made a healthy banana cake and he used five bananas from our banana plant, eggs from our chickens and honeys from our bees. Uh, there's no other sugar in it, we use the honey instead and it has a little bit of coconut oil in it too. So have a look, I think it's awesome. You can see the chunks of banana, I think it's, it's pretty good. You think? But how does it taste? Mmm, not oh, good. There's nothing more satisfying, is there, than having things from your own garden and being able to eat them. <laughs> 